My name is Maggie Blinko. I am playing Baba, a funny lady who has Alzheimer's. She sometimes has moments of lucidity, which for her is sad because she knows that been again, she's huh? not going to stay logical and lucid for long. And certainly in this little film, we see her transitioning from one to the other in certain circumstances. Ah, that man source order. I hate alterations. Bucker of a job. She's got a great sense of humour. Well, don't let that get cold. Sometimes that breaks through. She has moments, though, of great anxiety and fear. She has a moment when she's sitting in her lounge room and she suddenly doesn't know where she is. Where are you? And it's a moment of great terror. She feels as though she's shrinking in this place that she doesn't recognise. She always seems to know who her daughter is. And, and the daughter answers. And she said, well, I, I, I want to watch the telly. And of course, the television is on. Accidentally, in a moment of other stress, Pam leaves the front door open and Barbara's out very quickly and away up the street. Baba! They do find her. Baba! I won't spoil it for you. Working with Anna Lisa Phillips has been absolutely fabulous. She has wonderful technique. She's got Film, TV process, you know, down to the, a perfect stage. She knows absolutely what she's doing in this medium. But more than that, she's wonderful to work too. I love honey prawns. You occasionally come across actors who are just really acting for themselves. But Anna absolutely, totally involves herself in each scene and, and uh, in the character. She's in the character completely. So we've had a wonderful time with each other. Mum, if you don't let go of this phone, I am going to put you in a home. As long as, as, long as you <laughs> If you see the film, you'll see what a warm person she is and what a warm relationship we've developed. I've known John since he was a little boy because I know his mother, Meg. We are of the same vintage. So he's been in and out of my life, in a way, for a long time. And, but I, to my amazement, and it was a great compliment, he suddenly asked me to be involved with this film. And I looked at the script and I thought, well, that's going to be a hard one, a really hard one. But yes, yes because he's a creative person. He's passionate about making this film and wanting it to be seen by people who may not be understanding fully the process that you have to go through, either caring for someone or perhaps developing Alzheimer's yourself.